Hi, can I help you? Hey there. How we doing today? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, thank you for asking. What can I get for you? Oh, I would love an iced sugar-free vanilla oat milk cappuccino uh, with extra ice, please. <laughs> What's so funny? You're not from around here, are you, honey? Is that obvious? Well, how about my famous sweet tea? We can pretend it's sugar-free, and I will throw in that extra ice for you. Sounds perfect. Great. Mm. Wow. This is the best smelling candle I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> Why, thank you. I hand pour all our candles myself. So impressive. Actually, my apple butter and pumpkin candle just won first place at this year's Harvest Festival. Here you go. <laughs> thank you. You know, I infuse them all with real Honeycrisp essential oils. It gives it that authentic fall feeling. Makes your house smell like a freshly baked apple pie. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you weren't kidding, this is incredible. Oh, it's no oat milk latte. Wow. I'm Drew. Oh, Ricky Jensen, it's nice to meet you, Drew. Listen, anything you need while you're here in Cedar Creek, you just let me know. Well, thank you, I really appreciate that. Sure. I'm actually only here for a short while, though, but I will be sure to circle back for some more of this tea before I head home. Oh, it's on me. Consider it a welcome gift. That is so kind of you. <laughs> One quick question, actually. Could you direct me to the main part of the town? The main part? <laughs> Honey, you're standing in it. Oh, wow. Super quaint. I like it. Thank you for the tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Ooh. Careful. Hey. Hmm. Oh, my, oh, my, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. It's okay. Oh. It's all right. So let me get you some napkins. No, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, you know, ma'am, it is very dangerous to walk and text. <laughs> I know you didn't just call me ma'am. Miss. Enjoy your tea, sir. <laughs> she seems nice. Gotta be kidding me. You get lost already. Oh, Marcus, thank goodness you answered. At your service. So this is a little embarrassing. Uh, and if you ever tell anyone, I will tell everyone about the time. You needed your mom to pick you up for our camping trip because you were too scared, okay? Because of the bears, Drew. You failed to mention the bears until we got there. Plus, that was so long ago. It was last summer. You were 31. Okay, okay. What do you need? I seem to have run over a nail. My dad taught me everything I know about commercial real estate. But he failed somehow to teach me your basic everyday skill set kind of stuff. Why don't you just call AAA? It's in the middle of nowhere. Copy you. I'm all over this. First things first, do you happen to have YouTube on your phone? YouTube? You kidding me? The tutorials on there are top notch. I once learned how to draw a fennec fox using only my left hand and food dye. What is the point of that? It's an exercise in the human brain. Okay, we're veering off subject here. Actually, Drew, if you remember, I am not, in fact, left-handed. No, oh my, Marcus! What? You have no clue how to change a tire, do you? I mean, I'm honored that you thought I did. Okay. Please do me a favor and call the, uh, the Wander Inn on Oaks Road and let them know that I will be checking in uh, later than expected. That I can do. How do you change a flat tire? Make a sharp left up ahead. Thank you.
kind of hotel closes at nine o'clock. I needed my coat after all. Perfect. Just perfect. Morning. Hey. Ah, I remember you. I'm sure you do. Now, I didn't really get a chance to apologize for yesterday. Hope that stain came out and that uh, your day wasn't completely ruined. Oh, it takes a lot more than that to ruin my day. <laughs> I'm Kate. I'm Drew. Nice to meet you. So you live around here? No, no, I'm in from Northern California. I was supposed to stay at this inn last night, but the uh, completely ill-advised owners thought they could close at 9 p.m. So I camped out in my car. It was super convenient. Hmm. You are the completely ill-advised owner, aren't you? In the flesh, yes. Well, I did let my assistant know to let you know that I would be arriving late, so. And I told your assistant that I would leave you a key in that key box, right there. Hmm. Come on, let's get you checked in. This is a nice, nice place you got here. Thanks. Come on in. Okay, in this folder, you will find all the information on the property and your key. Perfect, thank you. I went ahead and put you in one of our biggest rooms. It's a little apology for your check-in and convenience. I think you'll find it really comfortable. Well, that already sounds like better accommodations than my rental car. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, there's already plenty of fresh towels and snacks, water, fresh linens, but if there's anything I forgot, please feel free to let me know. I'm just right across the way in the little guest house there. Enjoy your stay at the Wander Inn. Thank you so much. Actually, there is uh, one thing you can help me with. Uh, what's that? Can you recommend a place to eat around here? I'm starving. I think I know just the place. This is a very difficult decision. Everything looks so delicious. Oh, yeah, well, you can't go wrong. I will have the deluxe farmhouse breakfast. Excellent choice. Okay, he is cute, cute, cute. Him. Do not who me. Table 15. Young Brad Pitt. Dimples for days. You are definitely pregnant woman. <laughs> Besides, he's totally out of the question. I have a very strict policy. I never date anyone. Anyone, anyone who's staying at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know. Come on. Rules are made to be broken. Just, like, live a little. 
Besides, for all we know, he has a wife. Or a girlfriend. Honey, you need to stop making excuses. You can do this tough exterior for anyone else, but I know deep down inside, you want to find someone. I want you to find someone. Besides, when Mr. Dimples here gets a taste of this strudel, cinnamon spice a la mode, <laughs> he's only gonna have eyes for one special baker. You are seriously crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of the best meals I've had in my whole life. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. I'm not sure my pants are gonna fit tomorrow, but uh, that was worth it. Yeah, I can relate. <laughs> Morning, Bree. Hey, Mutt. Morning, Katie. Morning, Matt. What am I getting you today? Well, that depends on uh, what do we have for this month's specials. Well, it's a work in progress. Uh. It's a little outside of my comfort zone. Oh, my it's Lord. a salted caramel dark chocolate pie. I can't decide if she needs a buttercream topping or a vanilla bean whip. Or maybe I skip the whip and I just top it with a little Florida salt. It's a fancy word for salt. I, I, is that a uh, chocolate cookie crumb crust? It sure is. You know, the secret to this one is I don't bake it. I use a special layering process where I very strategically freeze each layer one by one. I tell you what, you order yourself a nice big breakfast and I'll cut you an extra large piece so you could try it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what did I tell you about calling me ma'am? <laughs> Mm. Thank you for a delicious breakfast, Kate. I'm just happy you enjoyed it. Uh, do you mind charging to my room? Of course. Have a great day. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, just somebody staying at the inn. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was hoping that you'd forget that. Oh, I bet. Make a right in point three miles. <sighs> nice to meet you, Drew. Thank you for coming all the way out here. Yeah, 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 no problem. Wow, you weren't kidding. This place really is gorgeous. That's why I wanted you to see it for yourself. You see, this land really was one of your grandfather's most prized possessions. You mentioned over the phone your plan is to sell the property. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, no, most, most definitely. I actually have a big client who's ready to start a new development of homes, and we are prepared to open escrow immediately. I wish it were that easy. What do you mean? You see, your grandfather owned a rather large area of land, mm -hmm. approximately 1,500 acres. Whew. Not all that land is dirt. Okay, so what? There's a couple farms or something, a few extra pigs that need some shuffling around? What? There are a few farms, but we're also looking at some rather popular local establishments. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the owners are looking to sell. It's certainly worth a discussion. I'll wander in. I'm sorry? Nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Um, thank you for the info. I will be sure to let you know how I'd like to proceed. No problem at all. You take your time with this. Yeah. This land has been in your family for generations. It's no overnight decision. Here's my card. You call me when you're ready. Thank you. You know, Jake thinks it's gonna be a boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a boy. Boys are dirty. They like cars and, and monster trucks. What do I know about monster trucks? I just always saw myself as a girl mama. My mom always said, as long as the baby's healthy, that's really all that matters. Yeah, of course. And then it's a girl. <laughs> Your mom always had the best advice, Katie. I really miss that. Yeah, I do too. 
This place hasn't been the same without her, has it? Nope. Really hasn't. And to be honest, nothing really has. Well, lucky for us, there's a cute boy in town. Oh, God, will you stop with that? You should invite him to the barbecue tomorrow. Absolutely not. Why not? Because he doesn't want to come. He's in the middle of nowhere doing Lord knows what. He is probably bored and lonely. Oh, being a friend. <laughs> Maybe a close companion. <laughs> you are unwell. Hey there. Uh, sorry to bother you, but you got a package. That's weird. No one even knows I'm staying here. Well. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not busy tonight, uh, we're having a barbecue at Pearl's. Just super casual, but... Fun. Really? Yeah, I'd love to come. Great. Thanks for the invite. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Chic it is. Oh, Gosh. excuse me. Someone is looking a little extra tonight. Just be quiet. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. good to see you. It's been a while. You got the smoker going? I do. It's all ready for you out back. All right. Hey, babe. When you're done matchmaking, can you uh, give me a beer, please? Oh, sorry, sweetie. I clocked out already. <laughs> you guys are cute. Yeah, I figure I only have a few more weeks before I'm not as number one. May as well milk it while I can. Oh, yeah, right. You know you got one of the good ones. <laughs> I sure did. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Aw. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'll jump at any opportunity to eat your cooking. Well, what did you bring me here? Okay, this is my latest creation. Mm -hmm. It is a rose-scented candle with amber and vanilla musk as the base notes. Ooh. Then I put real rose petals on top to give it that something extra. <gasps> Wow, Ricky Jensen, I think this might be one of your finest creations yet. I'm so glad you like it. I learned a long time ago never to bring anything edible. <laughs> well, that is very sweet of you, but I hope you brought your appetite because we have yeah. so much food. Oh my God. Your favorite wine, madam. Much. Well, that's sure sweet of you. Thank you. And I guess I'll take madam over ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Mutt. <laughs> is it for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Glad to see you. Wow. Hey there. Looks like somebody went shopping. Something like that. <laughs> I am loving this festive look on you, Drew. Thank you. Oh, I want you to meet my husband, Jake. Drew. Jake, nice to meet you. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Oatmeal Glatte himself. <laughs> <laughs> of course you two know each other. Oh, we sure do. I've known Katie since she was a little baker in pigtails. Yeah, Ricky used to babysit me when my mama had late nights at the diner. We had a blast together. <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> Come on, Drew, let's get you something sugar-free to go with that outfit. <laughs> I would love another biscuit, actually. <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> These ribs were out of this world, Katie. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. I'm um, happy you liked them, but yeah, as a matter of fact, they're my Grandma Pearl's recipe. Mm -hmm. Grandma Pearl, as in the Pearl? Oh uh, yeah, the one and only. Oh, she sure was special. Hey, so what is it that you do, Jake? Oh, I work in law enforcement. Let's just say you don't want to be on Jake's bad side. <laughs> no. Nope. Now on the flip side, Ew. he's a great guy to have on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jake is Cedar Creek's very own sheriff. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds a little uh terrifying. <laughs> okay, kids, it is three-legged race time. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, I call being the judge. Oh, no, no City's like, are you nope. not getting out of this one? <laughs> the winners of this race will receive a gift certificate for dinner for two at Marcello's restaurant. Jake, you better get me that dinner. Oh, it's in the bag. On your marks, get set, go! Come on! I think we lost. This sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, nice work, you two. Hey, in all fairness, Brie has the extra advantage of her superhero mama strength. Oh, thanks, baby. Mm. Can't mm. wait to see that superhero <laughs> mama strength take down a 16-ounce steak at Marcello's. <laughs> <laughs> nice work sending me these clothes. My pleasure. The people here couldn't be nicer. And the food is insane. Be careful. You don't want to gain that freshman 15. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, my supportive friend. So, how's the Ellis family land looking? It's virtually perfect. It's way more lucrative than I possibly could have imagined, and I just know that I could sell it in 24 hours or less. Okay, but? But it's complicated. What's so complicated? This town is special. I just hate the idea of taking its charm and turning it into some commercial disaster. Hello? What have you done with Drew, and how much money do you want? <laughs> all right, all right. I admit, I've gone a bit soft. Soft? You went from shark to teddy bear overnight. Like I said, it's complicated. Well, you better pull yourself up by your bootstraps, cowboy. You're not there to make friends. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. I am still full from that amazing dinner last night, Katie. Those ribs were something else. Happy to hear it, Matt. You know, if you're real nice to me, I know where she hides the leftovers. You name your prize. <laughs> uh, hey, Katie. Yes? Couldn't help but notice the chemistry. You and Mr. City Slicker last night. Who, Drew? No, Mutt. Yes, Drew. No, no, we just offer the finest of hospitality at the Wander Inn, that's all. I need to start staying at some nicer hotels. <laughs> I had an idea. What? What if you take my gift certificate and you ask him out to dinner? What? No, that's for you too. You need that fancy dinner more than I do. Do you really think that this swollen body wants to be in public any more than I have to? <laughs> oh, speak of the handsome devil himself. Morning, everyone. Hi, good morning. How about a fresh cup of coffee, Drew? That sounds like absolute perfection. Thank you. Great. Have a seat and, uh, Bree will bring you a menu. Yep. Okay. Go. Menu. I'm just gonna pop squat here. Ooh. Don't mind my waddle. His belly does not allow me to be the most graceful. Are you kidding me? I think it's incredible. You do? Oh, yeah. You are creating life at this very moment just by sitting there. Come on. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess when you put it that way, it actually is pretty impressive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Speaking of impressive, my three-legged race skills? Oh, extremely impressive. <laughs> you know, um, I was actually gonna take Jake out for this fancy dinner, but between my exhaustion levels and literally none of my clothes fit me, I think it's better to just grab some food to go from the diner. Yeah. 
so I was thinking, maybe you and Kate should go together. She just works so hard. A night out would do her some good. Are you sure? You guys worked really hard to earn this steak dinner. I'll tell you what, you bring me home a giant slice of their butter cake, we'll call it even. That's a deal. All right. What are we having today, Drew? I gotta be honest with you. As much as I love this Southern cooking, these meals are killing me. <laughs> um, can I just get like some mm, egg whites and a side of turkey bacon? <laughs> <laughs> I know you did not see turkey bacon. Like, <laughs> that's something we have here. Yeah. Give me to the guy out of California. Yeah, why don't I whip up some egg whites for you and I can try to dust off some gluten-free bread we may have in the back. That sounds perfect. <laughs> oh, uh, Kate. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, maybe, do you do you have any um, plans tonight? Thought maybe you and I could grab a bite to eat? I'm most definitely free, yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. Pick up on seven. It's a date. I mean, it's, no, it's, it's not a date. We're obviously not going on a date. We're just, um, great. It's a date. Oh, Drew. Yeah. You still want the egg whites or? <laughs> I'm feeling wild. Let's make a French toast. <laughs> okay, we just need something that says I look hot and amazing, but not like so amazing that I'm trying too hard. I don't think I have that. My wardrobe is basically a comfort capsule. Yeah, I, I I, don't think any of this is gonna work. I, Kate, when was the last time you went shopping? What, what is this? Is it, is it 1997? Hey, I like that dress. What time is it? Um, it's, well, it's five. All right, well, hopefully we can still catch her. Who are you calling? Reinforcements. This, you think a turtleneck is sexy? No, on a date? No. <sighs> Hi. Hi. Come on in. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. Are you kidding? Anything for you. <sighs> oh, Kate, this is Natalie. Hi. I introduced her to her fiance, Rafi. Mm -hmm. He came in a pearls and he was looking so depressed because he had just been stood up for the third time. Mm -hmm. oh, that's horrible. But you know what? It worked out to my benefit because Brie, that would be the perfect match. And she was right. Oh, well, your ring is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, look. Well, that's cute. Look at that. We are trying to bring you into the present day, honey. What about... Oh, what about this one? Okay, you are officially fired, and Mama Bree is now large and in charge. This? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Dad. Drew, just wanted to check in, see how things were going out there. Ah, uh, things are things are good. Glad to hear it. Uh, have you had a chance to see the land yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. And uh, it's got a lot of potential. I actually have a few prospective buyers in mind. Fantastic. Hey, listen, Dad. I'm actually on my way out. Uh, can I can I call you tomorrow? Of course, but Drew, 
Don't forget the LSO. Play fair and square, and you will lose your share. <laughs> That's my boy. Well, Dad, it's not always that simple. Yes, it is, son. Don't make things any harder than they need to be. Hi. Wow, you look different. Not that you look bad before. It, you're glowing. Thanks. Uh, let me just grab my purse and then we can go. Nice place. Uh, my mom and I renovated together. Only took us four years, but I do really love it. I can see why. Hmm. Shall we? We shall. So there I was in my underwear, completely locked out of my house in the pouring rain. Oh no. Yeah, and the worst part about it was I could see my roommate's golden retriever inside, dry, warm, cozy, completely <laughs> ignoring me. That's awful. It was like that part in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, you know, where the prisoners are trying to get the key for the dog and they're trying to lure him with the bone. Anyway, it was just one of those crazy college nights that you just, you know, forget. To be honest, I've never been on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. What? I've never been to Disneyland. You gotta be kidding me. No, I was born and raised here in Cedar Creek, so California was not a place we went to very often. To be honest with you, I've never really stepped foot outside of this place, other than the time that my mom insisted that my grandma and I take a road trip to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, well, it is now my mission to get you out west for a Disneyland visit. Oh. <laughs> uh, where does your mom live now? Uh, she passed away last year, sadly. I'm sorry. Yeah, she was something else. You would have loved her. You know the banana pie that you love? That was my mom's recipe. It's the best. She had this uncanny ability to just make the most amazing pies. No recipe necessary. She would layer and flavor and season. It just always came out perfect. No matter how many times I try to recreate her pies, they just never taste quite as good as my mom's. Well, it sounds like she was an amazing woman. Yeah, she was. I lost my mom when I was three. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I actually don't really have any memories of her. Growing up, it's just me and my dad, and he taught me everything I know about the family business, and then after college, I just kind of jumped right in. And he never really spoke much about her. All I really have in terms of memories are old photographs and an old baby blanket that she knit for me when she was still pregnant. Are you and your dad close? Close-ish. How so? He got to the point in his career, professionally, where he just got burnt out. And um, all he wanted was for me to take over the company, and so I've been the, the face of Ellis and Son ever since. That's impressive. Any siblings? I don't, no. What about you? No, me neither. Just me. Well, I guess we have more in common than I thought we did. Really? Did you think we wouldn't? I don't know. I guess maybe I thought you were a fancy city boy. Fancy. It's code word for snob. I'm happy to report that I was wrong. Can I interest you too in any dessert? Uh, you know, I think I have a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, it's so quiet in here. It's nice, right? I actually love being in here after hours. I feel like my creative side just really gets to shine when I'm in my environment without all the noise, you know? When I was little, my grandma would bring me here in the middle of the night and we'd have camp outs. The middle of the night? Well, it felt like the middle of the night, but it was probably like nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. My mom would get so mad because she would have no idea where I was. Grandma wouldn't tell her? Nope, but this was before cell phones, remember? That was always just her though. She was all fun and games. Uh, we would roast marshmallows and make s'mores. We'd pretend like the lights in the oven were the stars shining in the night sky. Looks like you use a new one of these. Hmm, that's actually my mom's recipe book. It holds all of the master recipes to everything we serve at Pearls. I always told myself I would redo it, organize them, you know, put them into a nicely bound book and maybe sell it here or something, but 
I've never gotten around to it. You know, one day this will be in the Smithsonian. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, you ready? Hmm? No. Oh, no, yes. I'm not the chef. Uh, well, I am not doing all this work by myself. Yeah, you're wearing it. Let's make it official. All right. I gotta tell you, I feel more Baker-like already. Oh, good. Well, my mom used to play this game with me when she was looking for new pie inspiration. She would have me close my eyes, spin me around, then she would have me pick one ingredient from the shelf. Whatever I touched, that would be the flavor of pie we'd make. Hmm. You ready? Okay. Okay. Close your eyes. Mm-hmm. Are they closed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep them closed. I saw that. Okay, hey, pick. Ooh, well. Hmm. Orange marmalade. Not a um, popular choice, but well, no, that's uh that's the fun part. So we say, how do we make this orange marmalade the flavor enhancer instead of the star of the show? Ooh, maybe orange and chocolate? Hmm. Now you're talking. What about like a orange chocolate brownie pie? Oh, I want to eat that right now. Well, then we better start baking. <laughs> I am blown away. <laughs> Seriously, Kate, your talent is next level. Hmm. Oh, that's sweet of you to say that. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, I'm not just saying that just to be polite. Seriously, the fact that you can take orange jelly, which I'm not a fan of at all, by the way, <laughs> and turn it into this, is beyond impressive. Well, I think this is one of my favorite pies yet. Really? Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to declare this. Drew's the boss pie. No way. I barely did anything. <laughs> you did more than you know. For it is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. You know that quote? <laughs> it's just a... It's what my grandma used to say. It's a good one. Seriously? The Wander Inn is two hours from the airport? Hello to you, too. I would have mentioned that had I known you were coming. But you're going to Aspen. I was until I found out it was freezing. Snow tends to be like that. Well, this is cute. Very Shania chic. Mm, hope you know you're not staying in my room. Don't worry. I already checked in. They are getting my room ready as we speak. I'll see my Kate. Who's Kate? No, nothing, nothing. I thought maybe you spoke with her. She's the owner. Um, my mistake. Andrew Owen Ellis. No, nope, my name is not Andrew. Whatever, I like that name better for you. Is this Kate character giving you the feels? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I had a feeling there was a girl involved. That's why I had to come here and see it for myself. That's the complicated part. She has a husband? No. Oh, uh, she has a wife? No. Oh. She's in a cult? No, oh, would you stop it? Well, what? My grandfather's land runs right through this place. E. And her family's diner. 
She recently lost her mom. I think she's really doing the best she can to stay afloat. I'm just not sure I can stomach being the one who takes her entire life away from her. You're right, that is complicated. Hi, uh, sorry to bother y'all. I just want to let you know that your room is ready. Thank you. And I was able to track down the fresh white towels, the sleeping mask, and the humidifier that you requested. Great, I will be right down to pick up those items. Great. <laughs> what? Hotel room is midway throat itch. Oh my god. Was this made with dirt? No, that is literally manure. You're up early? Oh, yes. It was lovely being woken up by a chicken yelling at me. Guess that's how they haze you here. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't do that. Tastes like someone died in there. Come on. You know, just the place to help ease your pain. You know, it's not that bright in here. Mommy doesn't talk to anyone until she's had her coffee. Good morning. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> morning, Bree. This is Marcus. Marcus, this is Bree. Howdy. What can I get y'all? We're gonna take two Rise and Shine Delights with Over Easy Eggs. Good choice. Come right up. What did I just order? Don't worry about it. You're gonna love it. Listen, I planned us a fun-filled day, and you're gonna need your fuel. Well, if it involves milking a cow, I'm out. I would never do that to you. Aren't we here for business? Why don't we start crunching some numbers so we can go home to where the green smoothies are? We will. We will. I just need to get my ducks in a row. Hey, how you doing? I'm Jake, Bree's husband. Nice to meet you, Jake. Marcus works with me at Ellison's son. Couldn't do life without him, isn't that right? I just wonder if you had any plans tonight. My favorite bar's got the game on and they got about 20 beers on tap. Love to come. Thanks for the invite. I love a tapped beer. Sorry, I gotta take this. I'll see you at the sip, eight-ish. What's the dress code for the sip? You kidding me? I don't know. Hey. Uh, so what's next on the agenda? Cleaning out the chicken coop? How are you complaining already? You just take a cleansing breath and breathe in this fresh, crystal clean air. Mm. Oh, all I can smell is a zoo. Oh, gotta get you out of the city more often. Well, my apologies. Didn't realize you went full Yellowstone in 72 hours. Mm -hmm. Why are we stopping? Because I wanted to bring you up here to show you something. The land in question. She sure is pretty. I know. This crush has really got you, doesn't it? I feel like I'm going nuts, Marcus. I barely even know her. There's something about her that's just so genuine. It's got me wanting to protect her. Well, that's sweet. And the crazy thing about it is, I need to protect her from me. Don't be so hard on yourself, bud. I'm sure there's a way we can figure it out. Ah! Oh. Drew, do not move. There is a giant murder hornet on your head. A murder hornet? Come on, is that even a real thing? Oh, they're real. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Marcus, stay calm. I need your help here. Okay, Marcus Miller. You can do this. You have a white belt in jujitsu. Don't need to be afraid of some little... <laughs> okay, can you stop screaming, please? They can smell fear. Drew. I'm gonna do this for you because I love you, even though it means sacrificing my own life. What are you gonna do, Marcus? On my count. One. Two. What? Two and a half. Three. <laughs> ah! Got it. <laughs> Apparently Marcus thought whacking me with his completely full backpack was the best plan. Oh man, well where's Marcus now? Oh, he had to lay down. Yeah. Apparently he felt faint from the whole ordeal. Uh, you know, I'm not sure I've ever heard of a murder hornet. Oh, you haven't. It was a mosquito. Mosquito? It's still scary. Well, you should definitely keep ice on it. Your whole eye's gonna swell up. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm just 
I'm gonna go get a slice of that banana cream pie because this baby just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Actually, I was gonna ask you if maybe you wanna hang out with me again tomorrow night, but I'm sure you don't wanna be seen with me in public now. I'd love to. You would? Yeah. I'm just gonna get you a pair of those like really stylish nighttime glasses, you know, see the old disguise. <laughs> that sounds like a date. Katie, Drew, how we doing? Hey. Whoa, what happened to you, pal? Got in a fight with a mosquito. Yeah, you did, yikes. I'll tell you what, you look like you could use a cold beer. Mm, on me. Come on. Deal. You two have fun. <laughs> That's your spot, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, give my man here whatever he wants. Jimmy, I will take the strongest drink you got. Yeah, for what you wish for. Thanks, Jimmy. You know, I like your style. I mean, I'm really being into this whole cowboy life. Yeah, thing. I can tell. I'm glad you like it here, too. You're in my hometown, born and raised. If you ever need anything at all, you say the word. I appreciate that. I gotta tell you, everyone's so nice here. Kind of our thing. First round's on me. Case in point. Appreciate it. You know, I got a confession. When I first met you, I thought you were a snobby city boy, but you're all right, man. You're all right yourself. Hey, so you're having a baby soon. Any minute now. That must feel surreal. Oh, it sure does. I can't believe I would be someone's dad. And I can't believe they just hand you a baby, assuming you know what to do with it. <laughs> Better you than me. I would be clueless. Hey, so, uh, question for you. Um, I'm taking Kate out on a date. A date, huh? Yeah, the official date. And um, I want to take her someplace fun. Someplace uh, different. I got just the place. You take her here. She will love it. How did you find this place? I'm not going to lie. I did have a little help. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. <laughs> fun fact for you. Mm -hmm. Did you know that there are over 3,000 varieties of pear. Wow. Yeah. And pear is in the rose family. I did not know that. I did not know that either. It was in the brochure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to make my grandma's pear crisp recipe with these beauties. Well, if you need a good taste tester, I know a very good one. Oh, you're hired. Mm. <laughs> what? I've just never met anyone with your passion before. About anything, really. I can promise you I've never felt that way about any deal I've ever done. I wish I had your enthusiasm about what I did for a living. Well, my mama always told me that cooking is a specialized skill that I needed to protect and nurture. Mm. And, you know, food is the way to almost everyone's heart, no matter what. Mm. So, I don't know, I guess it's just always driven me. You know, somebody comes into the restaurant alone, I think, what can I do to make them feel special? If a happy couple comes in on a date, it's like instant a la mode. It's my love language. Makes me happy to make people happy, I guess. It's truly amazing to see. And you're amazing. Are you hungry? <laughs> Always. Jake. Jake. Hey, it's Garrett Sanders from Station 33. Hey, how's it going, Garrett? Good. Just wanted to touch base about a situation I was made aware of today. Have you heard that the old Ellis family land is up for sale? I actually hadn't heard that. I was afraid of that. What's going on? Well, 
I recently discovered that the own land runs right through Pearl's and the Wander Inn. Frank Ellis apparently had an arrangement with Pearl. He let her use the land rent free all these years. Okay. Well, this could cause a major problem for the businesses once the land is sold. Huh. We had no idea. Apparently, Frank left everything to his only grandson, uh, Drew Ellis. I'm sorry, did you say Drew? Yeah, Drew Ellis. I don't believe he's local, but I have very few details. Hoping to get some more intel for you today. I just wanted to let you know as soon as possible, because I know these two places are real important in your world. No, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the heads up. All right. No good? No. We have a problem. You like it on top of it or with the, the puddle of ketchup? How we doing? Can I get you to anything else? Oh, I am as full as can be. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just start check, please. Oh, sure thing. Come right up. <laughs> hey, Katie. Hi. Hey, man, what's going on? You can skip the pleasantries. Sorry? When were you planning on telling Katie about your land? <laughs> are you talking about Jake? Drew has been hiding a secret from us. And more importantly, from you. Okay, uh, look, I, I had every intention of talking to you about this. Talking to me about what? Um... Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? It's Ellis family land, okay? Yeah. The Ellis land runs right through Pearl's as well as the Wander Inn. Drew's grandpa, Frank, was giving Pearl a deal on doing her business here. And rumor has it that Drew here will be tearing everything down for a bunch of soulless drag homes. What? Is that true? <laughs> was that my original plan? Yes. But 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 then I got here and, and, and this town, this place, it's so idyllic and, and, and special. And then I met you. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Kate, you gotta trust me. Trust you. Not only do I not trust you, I never want to see you again. You been spying on me? No, no need to spy. This information was handed to me. There are no secrets in a small town. Okay, okay, listen. I had no idea before I got here that the land was a part of Pearls or the Inn. You expect me to believe that with your fake cowboy outfits, charming personality, and cuddling up to Katie? You really expect me to believe that wasn't completely calculated and deceitful? Deceitful? If you think that for one second, man, then you don't know me at all. You're right. I don't know you. I sure as hell don't want to. I think that I trusted you enough to open up. And like a fool. <laughs> God instincts are always right. You're exactly what I had you paid for. I thought this was gonna be a smooth, easy transaction. I was gonna come in here and I was gonna sell this land off to one of my biggest investors, sight unseen. I was gonna be in and out in 48 hours tops. But, but I got here and everything changed. This town won me over. Kate won me over. You gotta believe me. This feels completely unfair. Unfair to you? Yeah. If you just give me a chance, just hear me out, man. Kate is a good girl. She deserves nothing but the best. I know that. I agree with you. Actually, you don't know. <laughs> Were you there when Kate's mom passed out in the kitchen and didn't wake up? Were you there when Kate almost lost everything due to her mama not leaving the diner in a decent financial state or having any of her affairs in order? I'm oh, sorry, I did not know that. Do you think you can just sweep in here with them pretty boy good looks and take everything that she has worked so hard for? You are sadly mistaken. That is not my intention, I promise you. Promises are just words, Drew. You are clearly not a man of his word.
Mission completed. Most exhausting project I've worked on to date. Well, you can just leave it there on the bed. I won't be needing it any longer. Why are we so depressed mode? It's a mess. What's wrong? Kate knows everything. About the land, about what my plans are, were, what my plans were. And now she never wants to see me again. Okay, we can fix this. I think the best thing to do would be Talk to her. Genius idea. Okay, don't bite. I'm sorry, I know you were just trying to help. And I tried, but she made it very clear she wants nothing to do with me. Andrew Ellis. Still not my name. Has that ever stopped you before? When a client tells us no, we add more fuel to the fire. When someone outbids us, what do we do? Any better offer? We don't lay down and take it. Because in spite of your father's ridiculously antiquated Ellis oath, we do play fair and square, and we never lose our share. Thank you for meeting me here. Jimmy, can I just get a cup of coffee? Yeah, coming right up. Thank you. In order to get the process started, I'm gonna need a couple signatures from you. Yeah. You know, you can always take the paperwork for your review. I can pick up signed documents tomorrow. Yeah, that might be, that might be best, uh, actually, if you don't mind. No problem. Your grandfather trusted me with his life. My only goal here is to do right by him. I hope you feel the same. Drew, something told me you would be hesitant. You have always been the sentimental type. So I instructed Henry to give you this final letter, if so. Sort of a break in case of emergency. I would never have given you this gift if I didn't completely trust you with my whole heart. I invite you to take a risk. Take a chance to see the beauty of change. Never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. This is your journey now. And remember, it is the sweet, simple things of life which are the real ones, after all. I'm so sorry I didn't really mean to do that. 
Oh my goodness, ma'am. I'm so sorry. No one calls me ma'am. Great. I'm so sorry. I had no idea it was you. Yeah, well, clearly this is not the only thing that you have to be sorry for. Great. Look, I, I know that you're upset with me. But I just wish that there was something I can do to convince you all that I only have good intentions. Okay, please. You, you don't have to worry about convincing me, all right? The damage between us is done. But I'm not going to let you run out of this town without making things right with Kate. Believe me, that's all I want to do. She won't answer my calls or my texts. I even stopped by her place this morning and, and she wouldn't open her door. And I know she was in there. Drew, Kate hasn't opened up her heart to anyone in a really long time. She gives her soul to her customers. That's why her heart is so big. And she trusted you. you. Bring help me get her back. You, oh, no. Uh-uh. Nope, I'm please, not. Please, I'm please, not getting involved. Please, please, please. I will do, I will do here. anything. Not... Oh, no. Oh, no? You don't want to help me? I think I just had a contraction. What? I, uh, I think the baby's coming. The baby's coming? Uh-huh. Like right now? On the street? Well... Probably not right here on the street, genius, but if you could, I don't know, call an ambulance or something, that might be nice. Oh, oh, of course this happens when I'm with him, of course. I'll be, I'll be right back. What? Two seconds. Where are you going? No, 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 no. You can't leave me here. What are you doing? Oh, ooh. So it is him. True. <laughs> just give me a second while I finish with this customer. Ricky, I need your help. Reese having her baby. Uh, I am very sorry. Just give me a minute. Come here. Hey. Hey, honey, we're gonna get you to the hospital as soon as possible, okay? There's no time for an ambulance. Let's just get her to my car. Okay. Hey, Drew, you just call Jake and make sure he meets us there. Okay, let me call for your phone, Ricky. My phone's dead. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 All right, girl. Hey, hey, just take your time. Just breathe. Phone's Ooh. off. Call, call Kate. Call Kate. I'm not calling Kate. You don't want to talk to me? Right now. Okay. Call her right call now. Kate. Call, call Kate. Right now. Come on. Okay. 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 Hey, Ricky. What's up? It's Drew. It's Drew. Don't don't hang up. I told you, I have nothing to say to you. There's a breeze in labor. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. I need you to find Jake and, and, and meet us there. Okay, yes. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, I'm on it. It is pretty amazing. Oh my, will you stop your chatting and find my husband right now? Okay, uh, see you soon. Where is she? Oh, they have her in labor and delivery, but don't worry. She promised to wait for you. Go right there. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for getting her here safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I think we can take it from here. Okay. Hi. Hey, Kate, Kate, I, uh... Not right now. This is the wrong time. Where is she? On the corner? All right. All right. Thank you. I'm a real good listener. Oh, thank you. I'm just at a complete loss at this point. Jake can be tough, huh? <laughs> You're telling me. It felt like nothing I said could possibly get through to him. Well, one thing I know about Kate is she's forgiving. <laughs> I'm sure she'll come around, honey. Uh, I hope so. Well, thank you for everything today, Ricky. Mm. I really appreciate it. In fact, I don't think I could have done it without you. Oh, don't mention it. I was happy to help. I can't wait to hold that baby. I... <clears throat> Mind if I join you? Are you still talking to me, at least? <laughs> I understand you got yourself in a bit of hot water. Something like that. Yeah. I've messed everything up with Kate. Well, Katie can be stubborn, but she's got a heart of gold. <laughs> Her grandma Pearl's 
just as sweet as she is. You know, I've never seen anything quite like the, the bond that she and your grandpa Frank shared. I had no idea. In fact, I see a little bit of that bond between you and Katie. It's <laughs> your grandpa, Frank. He was a charming fellow. The lady sure did love him. You know, he could sell ice in Alaska. That, I'm sure of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was the best. Yeah. He was more than just a grandpa to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel guilty even admitting this, but I was closer to him than I am to my own father. How so? He never judged me. Never challenged me. He was just this constant support system that was always there, no matter what. When my mom passed, my dad just completely shut down. I acted as if nothing even happened. I never talked about her. I looked at old photographs, no home videos, nothing. I am sorry to hear that. My grandpa was committed to making sure my childhood was special. And I will always be forever grateful to him for that. Now I have this massive responsibility to do right by him. But it's at the expense of everyone and everything here. I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. I wish someone would believe me. Well, I believe that you will do the right thing. Thank you for the chat, Mutt. I appreciate it. Anytime. Actually, Mutt, would you mind helping me with something real quick? Girls' night out. Before you get upset, Mutt, let me in. I didn't do anything shady in here, I promise. Should have never given that guy a key. He loves surprises. I thought maybe we could camp. Out of the diner stars like you used to with your grandma Pearl. <laughs> Kate, I never sorry meant to. That I... Look, I it's hate just that, that I, I trusted. <laughs> Please, you go first. No, you go. Kate, I'm so deeply sorry that you found out about everything the way that you did. I had no idea that your family's establishments lay dead smack in the middle of this land that I came into. I had every intention of telling you. I was just trying to figure out how to tell you without hurting you, and then that was stupid because I ended up hurting you anyhow. And I just... I just wish that you knew how... I'm truly really sorry I am. You know, when my mom passed away, I promised myself that there's nothing on earth that would take away what she worked so hard to build. She put everything into this place. 
So did my grandma. And I gave up my own life to be here every day. I worked so hard to keep this place afloat and I came close to losing it more times than I would care to admit. And somehow we would make it through. In spite of every challenge that was put in front of me. And then I met you. And this is a challenge that I can do absolutely nothing about. And it terrifies me. You came into my life and I thought, maybe this is my opportunity to, to meet my person or that door wasn't, wasn't fully closed for me yet. I didn't want to trust you, but I did. Then you broke my heart. I don't know how we repair that. I told them no. What? I won't sell. No matter what happens between us or how you feel about me, the land is mine and it will stay mine. Pearls and the Wander Inn aren't going anywhere. You have my word. And I know that my word might not be enough for you right now. But if there's one thing that you taught me, it's that integrity and truth, trust, mean more than anything. So Pearls is safe? Mm-hmm. You mean that? I do. And I'll even put it in writing if it'll help you believe me. And then you never have to see me again. I'll go back to San Francisco, keep my mouth shut, never have to even deal with me. What if I don't want you to leave? Everything's negotiable. So does this mean that you're my landlord now? Or? Sort of. Yeah. You're still the boss. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. A baby girl. Named Pearl. <gasps> She's perfect. That's one of the cutest babies I've ever seen. Right? Oh, I almost forgot your gift. What is it? Carl's <gasps> Pie Place. Open it. A guide to cooking that's as easy as pie. What can I say? I'll be a good play on words. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be true. This is incredible. <laughs> you have every recipe in here. Well, uh, full disclosure, uh, some of the recipes were impossible to read, so I just <laughs> did my best. It's perfect. Thank you. No need to thank me. I wanted to do something special for you. It really means a lot. Could I interest you in s'mores pie? S'more pie? What are you, trying to be bumped up to head chef around here? I am working on finding my place. Cheers. Xin chào mọi người. Chào mừng mọi người đã đến với vlog và màu tranh của mình ngày hôm nay. Chúng ta hãy cùng nhau tò mò cho bức tranh về một ngôi nhà có những bông hoa rất là xinh. Ngay bây giờ thì chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau bắt tay vào và tô màu nhé. Đầu tiên thì mình sẽ tô cái cây ở sau nhà. Nó nhìn thấy mỗi tán cây thôi nên là mình sẽ tô một tán cây thôi. Rồi thì sẽ tô phần mái nhà Mình sẽ lựa cho màu cam Thế 
tiếp theo các bạn cùng mình tô màu cho những bông hoa trồng ở trước nhà nhé chúng mình sẽ tô màu cho nhị hoa bông hoa này thì mình sẽ sử dụng là màu vàng để tô tô phần đất bao quanh ngôi nhà nha đây này mình nghĩ là mình sẽ tô nó màu nông nhạt giờ thì mình sẽ tô rèm ở trong nhà mình nghĩ đây là rèm nó dùng để che nắng nhá những ốc cửa này thì nhìn được vào bên trong nên là nó sẽ thấy được trước tường ở trong ngôi nhà nên mình sẽ tô máu cho cái tường luôn giờ thì tô đến cánh cửa chọn là màu nâu nhạt sẽ tô màu tím cho ngôi nhà của chúng ta Đức ơi Đức ơi Bức tranh tô màu của mình đã xong rồi nè mọi người ơi Video của mình đến đây cũng đã kết thúc Cảm ơn các bạn đã đón xem video này của mình Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại mọi người nhé